if you are uh, having questions like what is diversity and uh, what is uh, icbn what is icjn and why we need uh, nomenclature these are the questions we are going to learn in this video what is diversity diversity is uh, if you see around yourself in the world you will find huge number of uh, plants animals insects birds and so many organisms there are uh, plants animals insects birds etc etc you will find huge number of uh, animals which you can see with naked eye but there are so many organisms you can't see you can't see with your naked eye you can't see like unicellular organisms like viruses um, amoeba and all those things bacteria amoeba and many organisms you can't see with your naked eye like this there is a huge uh, differ differentiation in the plants animals insects birds and uh, unicellular organisms the, there are around 1.7 to 1.8 million organisms are known and described till today there is a rough estimate around 1.7 to 1.8 million organisms this is a huge number and every day every day biologists identifying new organisms this is the great thing this is the fantastic thing every day biologists are identifying new organisms then they are adding to the this millions of already identified organisms this leads to next concept there is a huge need for naming there is a huge need for naming if you want to give a name first you need to identify it identify the organism describe its characteristics identification means first differentiate differentiate the differentiate from others traits characteristics you have to identify the traits you have to identify the characteristics all the required things to identify it then you have to give the name this leads to that is a three step process that is called identification identification the second one is nomenclature nomenclature and after naming you have to classify it that is called classification these are the three steps involved basic fundamental steps involved in the entire biodiversity identification or whatever nomenclature naming and all those things otherwise there is a lot of confusion if if you if an organism you call with a different name and someone call with a different name then there is a confusion so you have to give the naming and you have to identify it and you have to classify it for these things to do you need to have a one control bodies that is for plants icbn for plants and icgn for animals jn for animals and what is uh, what is icbn what is uh, icbn that is a uh, international code international code of by botanical nomenclature what is icbn international code of botanical nomenclature
they do it for plants they do it for plants and what is a ic jeder international code inter national code of geological nomenclature animals ic jeder ic bm okay so this is uh, what you need to understand there is a huge diversity plants animals insects birds and many other organisms multicellular unicellular organisms some you can't see some you can see like this there are identified around 1.7 to 1.8 million living organisms are identified described and every day new organisms are getting added so there is a huge confusion if there is no naming if there is no identification and if there is no classification without naming without identification and without classification there will be a lot of confusion to avoid these things there are two bodies they are icbn and icjn icbn international code of botanical nomenclature ident system system of rules and everything for plant identification system of uh, rules and agenda guidelines to name the plants and icjd is for animals system of rules and agenda for uh, animals okay now you know this co this question okay what is diversity diversity is a different flora and fauna flora and fauna in a geographical area geographical area that is called biodiversity of that particular geographical area what is icbn icbn is a international code of botanical nomenclature what is icjn international code of geological nomenclature naming is called nomenclature and in the next video we see binomial nomenclature binomial nomenclature in detail there is a system of naming that is called binomial nomenclature in the next video we see binomial nomenclature please watch that video